small town personality guy. He'd talk to anybody. He had, he uh, uh, everybody uh, uh, loved to see him coming. And uh, uh, except I'm sure some of the some of the people on the football field. It's a sad start to the weekend for many football fans. Former Arkansas Razorback Mitch Petras has died. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us on this Friday for Fox 16 News at 530. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. Mitch was well known and made an everlasting impact both on and off the football field. We're told the 32-year-old died last night after suffering heat stroke. Fox 16's Wes Moore has more on Mitch Petras. Mitch Petras walked on at the University of Arkansas in 2005. At first he was a fullback, but then moved to the offensive line. Former Razorback assistant coach Gus Malzahn coached Mitch in the Arkansas High School Football All-Star Game and again at the University of Arkansas. He loved football. He had a great passion. Um, you know, had great positive energy. I can't remember one time that I felt like he had a bad day. He was just one of those real positive people that had great positive energy. By 2007, Mitch was an all-SEC lineman for Houston Nutt while blocking for Darren McFadden. Yeah, you just knew that, uh, you know, he had it. He had this want to, and uh, he had this enthusiasm and this passion. Uh, the, whether he was in the weight room, and he was so strong. Weight room or on the field, uh, you, you just, just loved his attitude, you loved his energy, and you loved the way he brought it every single day. Man, that's a... Uh, that's, that's tough, man. Um, a guy like Mitch Petras, man, that's a, that's a guy that's a, he's a joy to be around, man. He can put a smile on anybody's face, brighten up any room that he walks into, man. It's, uh, it, it's just a tough deal to, you, uh, to lose a guy like him so young, man. Mitch made All-SEC again in 2009 as a redshirt senior. He went to the NFL Combine and put on a show, putting up 45 reps in the bench press, the second most ever. The New York Giants selected Mitch in the fifth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. He started three games in 2011 and won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants. His NFL career came to an end in 2013. I'm Mitch Petras, and we're here at North Little Rock versus McClellan, and we had the first half highlights coming up. The NFL's loss was our game. In 2015, Mitch began reporting for Fearless Friday. Next season is upon us. We got more food than Golden Corral. I'm officially running for Senate. Joe T. Robinson is my running mate. Oh, oh, no, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Every Friday night in the fall for the last four seasons, he put on a show for high school football fans. Uh, uh, he made a huge impact on our show and, and, and a lot of our viewers out there. It was it was amazing. And the request I would get, they wanted Mitch to come to their high school mm -hmm. game and report live. Coaches requested Mitch to yeah. come to their game because he put on quite a show. And, and you see, we see the negative aspects of social media sometimes. Mm -hmm. But today you saw the positive aspect of it. The people remembering Mitch Petras, all the videos, people were digging up old videos of Mitch that had, that had posted on Twitter. They were, were retweeting those and just honoring him. And I looked up this afternoon and Mitch Petras was trending, trending across the country. He was so unpredictable on, on Fearless Friday. You never knew what you were going to get or what he was going to be wearing. But one thing that I've heard consistently from a lot of your colleagues at work on the show was that he had a very big, caring heart. He truly mm -hmm. cared for everyone that he encountered. He was a large man, but he was larger than life. When he walked in the room, he dominated it with his personality, with his size but with his heart because he cared, he loved life, and he lived life. And what you saw on TV was what you saw in real life. People ask me all the time, what's Mitch like off camera? And I said, what you Same see is what you get. That camera. is Mitch. That, <laughs> yeah. That's right. the way Mitch is. Right. Yeah. And just so you know, he did have other interests outside football. Petrus served as State Senator Jonathan Dismang's Chief of Staff. This was during the 2018 legislative session when Dismang was Senate President Pro Tem. Of course, we will have more on the sudden passing of Mitch Petrus tonight on Fox 16 News at 9.